breakfast bars. Y'all, you know what it is. Episode six, breakfast bars. We back with another one. Your host, DJ Young Legend. Nerd Nash, we're back. We here. Episode, what is this? Six? six. Yeah, we got six in. Going crazy. 94 to go. Ah. <laughs> 94 to go. Before we, we get out of beginner stage. That's a lot of episodes. Of YouTubers. Yeah, yeah. We so it feels we, good. Yeah, man. It's been an eventful week. You back? It's been one. a good week. I feel good. Y'all How feel you feel? I feel good. A little congested, but you know, I don't know it's allergies or what, but you know, I'm good. I'm here. Nice <laughs> early Saturday morning yep. edition. Yep. Nice day. Nice morning, man. Had to give y'all another episode. Be here. Before we start, we got some love in Edge Fitness. We did. I was in Edge the other day. Somebody came up to me, said, yo, I'm feeling the show. Oh. I thought you were talking about the podcast, the podcast. I got with Mar. I said, oh, yeah, you know what yeah, yeah. He said, no, I'm talking about breakfast, bro. Oh. I said, oh, <laughs> okay. We out here. We, out here. we lit in Edge Fitness. Yeah, yeah, level. They got put on the big screen or something. Damn. The home of the content creator. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's major. So we made the Edge. We made so it. We I feel we official. <laughs> We official now. So shout out to you. Shout out to you, man. Edge shout out. Right, right. Not even there. Now, you ain't even there. Now I got to start going back to Edge now for that. And you getting a shout out. That's what's up. That's love. That's what's up. Man. So that's a great thing. Shout out to Edge Fitness, man. All we are back fitness. off yeah. a great ep last episode. was great. <laughs> it was controversial. Very controversial. We went viral. Was it viral? It was Twitter viral. It was internet viral. You know, it was, it was viral because it was talked about outside of Twitter, too. So it was viral. Yeah. Jada Kiss and Lil Wayne. 100k plus views is. It went crazy. We went baby viral. We went baby viral. I'll take it. I'll take we it. Went, we went. Gold. Gold viral. We went little gold. I would say gold. That was gold. I would say gold. Gold internet viral. Yeah, people going crazy. Writing paragraphs, arguing, cursing. Dwayne and Kiss. I gotta. I probably gotta double back my statement. I definitely agree that Lil Wayne is better than Jada Kiss. <laughs> After thinking about it. You went through the stats. You got to, you know, you can't, you can't lead off of just nostalgia all the time and emotion. You got to really think and really understand what's going on in the culture. And, and Wayne got it. He had it for a long time. Well, honestly, in my mentions, it was, it was 50 -50. I was seeing both, too. I was honestly seeing both. The old heads was representing for Kiss. Yeah. And the younger, well, I can't, the less, the less old yeah, heads. Yeah, 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 yeah. They was going for was Wayne. vouching for Wayne. Yeah. You had the old heads speaking more towards lyricism and and and, sh and authenticity. And that was my main point. I had to think, no, that's not how you can't can't go. And then that. you had the younger people going entertainment, mixtapes, mixtapes, singles, flows, impact, flows. impact yeah. style, and that matters. Yeah. That's so. Important. It was a little yeah. It was it was, it was fifty fifty. You would you say it was fifty fifty? I say. Uh, maybe 60, 40 yeah, Wayne. Yeah. Just because the internet is more younger. Yeah, people. yeah. A lot of KISS fans is on Facebook. They on, they on Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> a lot of KISS fans on Facebook or they at work yeah. on the forklift. <laughs> forklift lose. And they couldn't. Forklift lose. <laughs> and they couldn't tweet because they couldn't get no service going in and out. Going in, in the warehouse. Truck. In the warehouse. Kids got fork But I'm speaking for y'all. I, I know y'all. Yeah. I know y'all represent. Y all. No, shot the kids, shot the Wayne. They went viral. But at the end of the day, you, I mean, I'm I, giving it to Wayne. Yeah, I am too. I had a double bag. And this is how I, I said this before on Church for the Wild. Shout out to the Church for the Wild. Definitely. This is how I look at This is how you tell who's a better rapper. Right. You look at it, say they both have amusement parks. Right. You got the Jada Kiss amusement park. You got the Lil Wayne amusement park. Right. Whose amusement park is more exciting? Lil Wayne got cash money. Me. The cash money attraction. Right. Bling bling. Right. The Carters. Right. The Drake. Drake. Lil Wayne. Bling, the cup. Yeah. The spark in the L before he rapped. The mixtapes. Yeah. His amusement park is just it's lit. It's Skateboards. Lit. Kisses. He got bad boy. Locks mixtape. D block. But his is so his. Kiss, you might go kiss, around his amusement park and be like, "Ah, oh, ah, oh, mom, I'm, I'm tired." Go. So kiss, <laughs> kiss is County Fair, and Lil Wayne oh, might be Six Flags. Well, or is that just I won't 
call on the county sheriff. Uh, I don't know. Kiss might be like a... Yeah, what's the tears of this? Is Lil Wayne Six Flags? If Lil Wayne and Six Flags are Disney World... I almost call Kiss Hershey Park, but I want to hey. give him more... Is he like a Dorney Park? I was all right. I can go with that. Wayne is like a... He like a Disney World. Yeah, so all right. Wayne Disney And Kiss World. is like a Bush Gardens. Damn, that's not even relevant right now. Bobby's heard that in years. See, he, he got no. I don't know about Bush Gardens. Kiss is still out here maintaining. Shout out to Jada Kiss. Shout out to Wayne. Thanks for mm-hmm. letting us milk milk y'all we careers. Milked it. We milked it. We love it. We did that. We stretched that content. It was like we oh, had good. a brick. <laughs> And we it, bust that it. shit down to mix. Yeah, we stretched it for a whole week straight. And sold it to the... My message was going crazy. They, I had people say, shut up. They loved it. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, you from Delaware. They said, they said defunct podcast. This they, one. they still talking about us in the kitchen. Yeah, they did they hit us in the kitchen. You know what I mean? Call breakfast so, bars. You know what? This is how you know when you go viral. You get personal attacks. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you know. You, you so we did it. Thank you for all the love. And the views. Shout out to Black... And hey. mag for letting yeah. me steal. I, I jack. I'm yeah. jacking. I don't care. If yeah. I see your tweet, we taking it, and I can use it for content. I'm taking we it. We talking about it on the breakfast bars. So I'll give you your credit though. Yeah. I'll definitely give you credit. But yeah, that was good. So we know uh, that was good content. I take the 150k views. That's it's under our belt. Yeah, yeah, we got they it. Can't, <laughs> they can't take that from us. Now, some people can say they got 150 views on Twitter. So that was good. Um, that, that was a good topic. But um, yeah. moving on. Let you, what you want. Start with. All right. Well, I wrote on the way here. Mm-hmm. I was listening to the Jim, the new Jim Jones. I heard a few tracks over there. So Jim Jones, the hit maker, got an EP called "Back in My Prom." I, that was, I, didn't, I don't even know what it was called. So it the backstory of that is allegedly Jim Jones and Freddie Gates had an altercation at Prom Hotel in Miami. So I guess that's why he named it "Back in My Prom" to like feel oh, for that. So that's I why, didn't know yeah, that. A little, so, a little shot. It's a little shot. And, and, and Benny's, Benny's on Friday. Going, okay. So now there's, a lot, there's a lot going on with that. So they dropped the EP on Friday. Eight songs. Eight songs. When I oh, when I went when I searched, I was expecting when uh, it came out, I was expecting. Me but too. then I, when I seen eight, I said, all right. Apparently it was a little it was sample clearance issue, so that's why they couldn't put a lot of songs on there. They couldn't clear a lot of samples. Now listen to it. How you like it? I almost player hated it. <laughs> wow. Off first lip, cause yeah. I off first two songs, cause I didn't I didn't see the video yeah, at first. Yeah. I'm like, these are some Yeah. Like what's the, It's feel? brunch music. It is Saturday it's cleaning vibes. music. Yeah, it got some vibes on there. He talking his you know, Jim Jones talking his tough talk, For sure. but he's it's more it's like contemporary Contemporary rap. brunch vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jim Jones a little older. It's easy now, on so. the ears. It's a yeah. good listen. It's a good you drive. You going to Wawa? Wawa. <laughs> Come on. Show See, it's a love. perfect collaboration because Hitmaker he going to R and B type vibes and just the vibey music, so it works for Jim Jones to tap into that See, lane. And that's what Hitmaker does. He he give you them clean. Yeah. I, I don't want to say. Well, I guess it is. Them industry records. You can Absolutely. walk into the offices with, play, yeah. with these records. With the samples and all that. Yeah. Jim Jones to go in the office with these eight songs and be like, open up. They probably did. They probably, it's, it's on Empire, so they probably did. So it's, now I see it makes hit makers hit. I still was, I looked through hit makers catalog. He got some shit. He got hits, but he got a lot of... It's like them safe songs. Oh like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But that's, that's I guess them singles. It's the radio I'm not songs. Hating yeah, the radio yeah, it's songs. the radio songs, of course. Yeah. He got a lot of those. I'm, I mean, I'm not hating, but it was like. Yeah. I mean, I understand why he's the hit maker. That is that's exactly why. But I didn't see too many like like bang like, like bangers. Uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. bangers. No, it's all radio songs for the most part. It's a shot to him. But yeah. But the Jim Jones tape is good. He got a song where he kind of speak on. I think it's number seven. Mm-hmm. He kind of speak on him and Cam not seeing eye to eye. Still, he, he don't get it. He just he just touch on it. Right, right, right. Which is kind of sad. I I want to see Jim Jones and Cam running around. If Cam and Bass get, get along now, Jim and Cam should be getting along at this point. Like, come on. And like you say, you got Benny on there. Benny's he on. got um. I think Pleasure. P. Jeremiah. Is it Jeremiah? There's a few people on there. He got Jeremiah. Benny's on there. Let me let me see real quick. 
Jeremiah, yep. Ty Dolla Sign, Pleasure P, Tink. So you see where you see what he doing. Yeah, yeah, that's the hit making lane. So yeah. I give it a. What you give it? <laughs> I'll give it a B minus. B minus. I go with that. Just because I thought it was gonna be more, but then I ended up not being bad. Probably at just it. enough, like a little sample size. It's safe sample. songs, yeah, no yeah. bangers. You could. Your girl, yeah. your mom could be in the car with Vibes. the kids. Yeah, you might get a little curses, but it's a good vibe. Yeah, yeah. So good job, so Jim hit Jones Hitmaker. Back in my prom. That's what's up. But something went down. <laughs> <laughs> Off of the heels of the release of that project. So your man. So hit look. Maker, so Hitmaker hit hit was on Hot 97 with Ebro. Shot the Ebro and Rosenberg. Ebro casually says, oh yeah, Hitmaker, you and hit, hit, hit boy, y'all doing y'all thing right now, y'all popping. Hitmaker goes on and says, oh, well, I'm on the radio. I got radio songs. You know, popping his shit. You know, I don't know. That's what Ebro, Ebro, said, Ebro said the same thing. I said, oh, we said, whoa, whoa I didn't have it. Or was it unexpected? Was it unexpected? I don't know. Could it be some behind the scenes? Could it be marketing? I don't know. Um, After that, you know, did, Hit Boy drop, did I see that Hit Boy dropped a diss? So that night, uh, Rory from the Rory and Maul podcast dropped the in-studio video. Shout out to Rory. Shout out to Rory. He dropped the in-studio video of uh, Hit Boy's verse. It was like just a snippet. Dropped that, teased it. Everybody went crazy. He he, he quote, unquote, dissed Metro, uh, Southside. Whoa, 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 whoa. See, I didn't, he dissed Metro? Yeah, he a little sub, yeah, subliminal. You know? he, don't, he don't want to do that. And, uh, you don't want that metro. We'll get in the we'll metro. Get we'll get in the metro. So the next day, Hit, Hit Boy and Alchemist dropped a full length video of the song. Hit Boy rapped on the Alchemist beat, and Alchemist rapped on the Hit Boy beat. They went crazy. And, it, and so mm-hmm. between that, Hit Me even post a little memes. Hit Boy be post little memes about the little back and forth. It's, it's funny to me. I don't think Hit Me can fuck with Hit Boy. You know, I'm about to ask. So who you Hit got? Hit me, he can't even reply. We reply with like sexy can I or some shit. What can you even reply? I got hit boy. Hit me, got I hit. Got, I, what can we talk I'm about? keep it a bean. Hit I'm boy got it. niggas in Paris. I'm <laughs> keep it all the way a bean. I don't I, I don't look at either one highly as them niggas. But I respect their craft yeah. and agree at what they do, but but if I had to pick one, I mean hit boy got more well, maybe you don't. I don't know. See, I don't know how we rank it either because it's like, if you talk about hits, yeah, hit maker got radio hits, but we talk about culture and impact and hit songs. Hit Boy got some too. Wait, wait a minute. Because Hit Maker is in the. He go back. From what he used to. Before he, Hitmaker. He was running with DMX. <laughs> yeah. My Friday. Bloodline so, Records. Yeah, he been in the. If you want to say who impacted culture, I mean, he got slapped up a few <laughs> times, but everybody, everybody get into some, yeah. get into physical altercation. We talk about we talk about music though. It's like Hitmaker been he, Young Bird. Yeah, Young he Bird. He been in the game a long time. But if I'm talking about right now, Hitboy got it. He got four, four, like three or four. So who you gonna tell your grandkids who was better, Hitboy? Yeah, yeah, I would. I got you with Kanye, Jay Z. That's the story I'm gonna say. I'm saying yeah, I'm boy, saying he, had, he had a couple more bangers, and he can rap. Yeah, he can rap better than Hitmaker. So yeah. it's like you gotta give Hitmaker. Yeah, yeah. Is Hitmaker gonna reply? Like I said, it might be on some R and B type vibes. I can't see him being too serious about his reply. Hitboy coming with the real authentic raps. It's hard for hit. It's hard for him making a reply. I wouldn't put it he past got, him. He, he got too him. much. You can you can pick apart. I mean, the most you, you can say, him. the most you can say, he got his chain snatched off. I guess, but it's like it's just fun. It's, it's it's friendly competition. I would assume it's not going going no further than the internet. I would hope so. Shout to them bringing a little. Hit boy, better keep Metro name. I, was, I gotta hear it because you. Yeah, I, I want to hear how but serious the diss. Hit boy said I didn't mean to diss them. I only kind of, I wanted to direct this at one person. He, it was like it was friendly fire, you know. It was competition, like the control versus with Kendrick. It was just friendly competition. So, hit boy, he on the, he on the run right now. He can talk his shit. So, yeah, he got a um, he just dropped something with music soul he got child. A whole project with music. He doing R and B. Can't say I'm checking for it. I didn't listen it, to it yet. But, but salute to them. Yeah. I didn't listen to it yet. Music either. soul child legend. Yeah. Speaking of Metro. Yeah. 
Retro sold a piece of his his publisher. His pub, catalog. Yeah, his catalog. Yeah. For seventy million. That's, That's a lot of to, money. Um, I got it written down here. Shamrock yeah, Capital. Yeah, yeah. These same people. These are the same people who purchased the first six albums of Taylor Swift. Yep. And they said they got six hundred million to spend. Let's go. So they trying to cop they content and music. Yeah. That's why we need to get these hundred up. We need and maybe we can get some of that. That seventy same, million. That shit rock. You can take all this. You can take all hundred. Yeah. Real talk. No, that's 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 amazing. A lot of people feel like. A lot oh, of and one people, little tidbit. Yeah. You know what? No, I'm not gonna go there. A lot of people feel like I'm sorry, YouTube. artists. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry, YouTube. I have some circle. Maybe I will. Just give Probably me a minute to think about it. A lot of people feel like these artists are selling their catalog too soon. Are they selling themselves too short as far as the value that they're worth? But I feel like you guys strike by the iron hot. If you can offer 70 million, 100 million, 50 million, you publish and take. You can make you keep making new music every year, you know? I, I'm not the music just sitting there. It's old stuff, most likely. I, I'm gonna take the 70 mil. I can create music every day. I'm an artist. I'm, I'm taking not bad. I'm not. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at him getting that seventy million. It's, it, it, it's, a, it's a percentage. Of your ca- it's not even the whole catalog. It's probably a few future records here, and other stuff here. I'm take it, Shamrock. Take my seventy record. million. I mean, it's like you don't know what he thinking. He might be on. He might be thinking, I'm on my way to be done with this. Shit. And that too. He yeah. just had tragedy in his life. Yeah. Yeah. He you might retire. I mean? It might just, let me take this seventy. I have a great career. Yeah, uh, impact. My name will live on. Yep. I'm, I'm cool. I, he might be on his way out. Like I will give you a couple more albums. And yeah, I'm done with it. Yeah, you never. And know. I, I mean, it's it's, like, it's generation changing. Yeah. One, literally though. No, literally. You know what I mean? Um. So I, now I, I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna put the kufi on. <laughs> Boom. Because you know, it's people. Oh, Looking at it with the kufi on. Why was black man always selling to the white man? Why shouldn't he, he should hold on to it? No, it could be worth so much can't. more in twenty years. Black people, black people, black people with nothing always say that. Oh, you should hold on to it. It's like the people with nothing always say that. You can't, you can't tell a man with something what to do with his 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 his, his career. And it's like we gotta scale our businesses. We gotta scale our companies. We gotta scale our name. Like you gotta scale up. This could be a way of him scaling up the same way QC sold. To Scooter Braun, you gotta scale your company up. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna sell QC. I'm gonna make some new shit over here later. It's about white people do it all the time. So I'm gonna scale my business. I'm gonna sell. I'll make something else. I don't mind. That's 70 million. That's, That's 70 million. That thing hits your account. It's like, <laughs> the wire, the wire is here. Would you work hard? It's, Literally. Is why you sat in your room. In your basement, your mom crib. You made, all these, you made your mom buy the MPC and your keyboard. Everything, yeah. You stayed in. You, just Flights. Didn't, you didn't go out and play with the kids. Yeah, you was on the computer. This is what you did it for. You ain't, you ain't give it all up. Yeah, so that's the main thing. You didn't give just it all up. Just some of it. Shamrock Capital now... They was involved with some shady really? her her um Taylor Swift. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a lot of funny things going on. Your, yeah. ma- your man um Scooter. Scooter Braun, yeah. That, I think that was a different. Yeah, that's actually the oh, incident. Bro, put the Koofy back on. back on. Remember Kanye brought up his name. I remember, yeah. Okay, so just keep an eye. As long as the wire transfer hit Metro, I'm fine. Saying, just keep your eye I'm on. Keep my eye on. And they said they got six hundred million. So, so we about, about to see. A so that's breaking of- news. You could do a Breakfast Bars album and put that out, and we we, we need that 70, 70 million. Shout <laughs> the Metro. Now it's story time. Yeah, I got a story. Let's go. let's go. And I thought of this as soon as I saw the headline. Right. I thought of this. Right. Years ago. Years ago. Maybe it could be damn near a decade ago. Mm-hmm. I was start. I was starting my nerd at the cool table dot com takeover. Yeah, this yeah. Is the beginning of the takeover. Yep. <laughs> you know, I was on. I was doing everything. I was in the mix. Yeah. On the internet, I'm finding new people to connect yep. with. Yep. Writers, rappers, bloggers, everybody. bloggers, yeah. producers. Uh-huh. They would hit my email. Yeah. I would get rappers sending their music. Yeah. I had a producer mm-hmm. in my email. Yeah. Young legend. I remember it. A young kid <laughs> yeah. from the Lou, from St. Louis. Yeah, not Atlanta, he's from, originally from St. Louis. Yeah. From St. Louis, there was a kid in my email 
that went by Metro Boomin. Metro Boomin would email me tons of beats, folders, yeah. folders, folders. <laughs> and I would listen to them. They was kind of, some were good, but yeah. they were mostly suspect. At that time. At that time. Yeah, at that time. It was mostly, it was so many, you know, you got so many coming. They not all going to be fire either. If, if they not fire, you moving on. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So I would listen, I right, hit them back. All right, it was cool. all right. <laughs> it was all right. We would just keep the folders yeah, coming. Yeah. So time passed, and I don't want to say I kind of forgot about them, but it just, you know. Out of sight, out of mind. how I operate. I do shit and then I stop caring yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. a couple of weeks. Yes, yeah. So maybe I ain't check my email for maybe a couple, right. a month or two. Right. Go back in the email. There's tons of Metro. I said, "Damn, he flooded my shit." <laughs> yeah. But these are old. These from like a month or two right, ago. Right. I said, "Let me listen to these." Expecting, uh, it might be maybe five. This nigga Keep sent up. five. <laughs> I <laughs> said, "Yo, crazy. this nigga five got nice." I start putting out, I start hitting some people. Yeah, yeah. Might even hit, I might have hit you, Probably. but I know I and hit Spot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah. out to Spot. Yep, yeah, yeah. A legend in yeah. his own world. Yeah. We're going to get into that. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to Spot. So I emailed a couple beats yeah. to Spot. <laughs> I said, yo, this is Kid Metro booming, bro. And he just sent me like three folders. This one producers will give you. Yeah, yeah, the whole kind of yeah, they whole life. Soul yeah, to you. yeah, yeah, for sure. I said, yo, this dude sent me a whole photo of some fire, yo. Spot hit me back and said, oh, <laughs> it's too late, bro. He with Gucci, man. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so you tell him you could have been the sign, what? the sign Metro. I said, he with Gucci, man. He said, yeah, bro, he in Atlanta fucking with Gucci, man. Yeah, because he's a fucking Gucci and said, caveman, too. Damn. Yeah. And from then, it was too over. Long. Now, cause I remember y'all used to tweet each other too back then. Y'all, to, yeah, he was heavy on Twitter back he then. He still, I yeah. Like, still like, I say all that to say this. That's crazy though. That's crazy. I could have had a piece of that seven. <laughs> I missed the bag. Yeah. Then we did fucking kitchen. I talk about this nigga. <laughs> now we talking about him on our sixth episode. You could have. I could at least got. I could have got hundred k or something. Yeah. I would have did. So you could have signed Metro to Nerd Records. Cool Table Productions. Shout out to Metro. Shout, Shout out, out to, to Metro. the, the seventy. But that's that's a testament to you having the vision, uh, even hearing his music and, and his beats and knowing. But you remember back? Yeah, 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 for sure. And then out of nowhere, it was all the future. It, went, was it happened fast, like you said. He was originally in St. Louis, and then he's like every few weeks he would go to Atlanta and like network with them, like Caveman and Gucci and like Walker and Soft So Yeah, it happened real fast. And he's like 16, 17 years old at the time. His mom like. Drive him down there. It was all types of shit. I used to send folders. That's crazy. That's he used to work hard. That's a, like I said, that's a testament to you just being a visionary always. So So man, listen. Life be like that. We gonna get we gonna get ours. I can understand them people saying hold on to it too, but it's like Tomorrow not promise, no, I need give to me seventy. Give me my seventy. Give me my seventy. Groceries yeah. and like you said, generational wealth, your kids, kids. Investments. Shout out to Metro um, where do you put him? Oh, not another list. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, when you speak about producers, uh, years from now, you go, you put them up with the, with, with the greats, with the Kanye. I think it's different tiers, though, because we have different generations. He may not be necessarily with the Kanye's and the Dr. Dre's. He may, he may, Why can't he be? Because it's generations. And it's the catalog. So you got he started catalog. a he started but, but that's what I'm saying. It's kind of like he's in the future South Side Gucci generation. And Dr. Dre is it's, it's like legend. I don't know. It's hard to. It's more nostalgia up here. And like, see you doing old nigga shit because I can't put him there yet. You got to. He just he's, he's still working though. He's still working. All his work with Future alone. It's you impact. Could put him he could. Up there with he he changed the sound of the, the, the game for sure. He changed the sound. Come on, and that's that's a lot. That says a lot. That's why I say, Hit Boy, relax. But Hit Boy did. He only really no, 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 no. I don't know. Hit Boy not on the same. Yeah, Hit Boy ain't changed the same thing. He's not the same. Metro, 808 Mafia. Hit Boy ain't gave us nothing that we gonna remember, that we yeah. felt in our soul. Yeah. In my opinion. I don't know. Somebody probably let me know if I'm bugging. I don't know. Not yet, anyway. I mean, Metro held down Summers. 
He did. Him and Future. Like you said, Gucci, Waka. Hit Boy great. Hit Man great. He, but he, if, if Metro was here, Hit Boy is here somewhere. Yeah. You I can see him? that. But it depends who you ask, too. And it could be regional. He may be a man in Atlanta, but Met people, they might not care about him up here. So that's, that's regional. Hit Boy, a man in California. <laughs> Mm, I, don't, I don't think you respect Metro enough. I, I respect mean, yeah, Metro. I respect Metro, man. It's just it's, it's tears and levels to greatness. So he's great in his own right for sure. But is he as great as Dr. Dre? He's still working at it. I don't know. Is he well, he's not. Guy? That's what I'm saying. You 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 saying can you put him up there? He might be. That's high. That's really high. The Dr. Dre amusement park <laughs> and the Metro <laughs> amusement again. park. Dre got Snoop. Dre will be more. I would say Dre. Metro be got a whole universe. That he come with just like Dr. J. Wait, are you saying that Metro cultivated this whole sound with Future? Because Future has a Zaytoven too. Cause yeah, Zay- but, but when, when, he, when him and Metro, yeah, Metro went in, it was yeah. different. And then he, Metro still got, he, in his universe, he still got Thugger. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Gunner. All that That's whole elite. He got Gucci. That's true. That is true. That's a whole wave, yeah. Just like Dre got Snoop, Game, 50 The G said. Funk shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Come interesting. On. That's interesting. Come on. I don't know. I so, think about that. He, he, Come on, give the young niggas respect. No, I, yo. I, I, I fuck with him. Give the young niggas respect. I fuck with him. He doing his thing. You doing old ass shit. <laughs> yeah, they doing old ass shit. Two weeks in a row. <laughs> you doing old ass shit. Two weeks in a row. Speaking of G Funk. Oh, Lord. <laughs> the Death Row catalog is back. A lot of people are excited about that. Um, it's, I, bro, I've been having to live without Doggy Style album. How long was it off? The a few like, years. Was it a few years? It, At it, least a I don't year. Think it, been, it might have been two or three. Two, maybe. I don't know, but it was off. It was off. I couldn't listen to Doggy Style. It was I the Chronic? Listen. I think the Chronic was on there. Though, I right? couldn't listen to Dog Food. Yeah. So no. that's, uh, I'm happy about Doggy Style. My favorite album of all time. Of all time. Damn. If it was one album, they 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 got to throw in my casket. Doggy it's style. gonna be Doggy Style. That's how bury me with Doggy Style album. I gotta think about that. I don't know. One album. One album. If, if they dig it, if they put you uh, in the ground, what album? One, one album. You one take album to the afterlife. Probably something Jay Z. I don't know though. Mm, I'm going Doggy Style. I say I might go Blueprint or Ooh. Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt was a good one. I go Reasonable, Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt ain't got nothing on Doggy Or something Drake. Oh, no, no, no. I ain't even seen nobody with that. No. I think uh, it's the greatest album ever. When I was a young boy, I remember I was sick and I opened up the booklet. <laughs> that I, shit was bro, crazy. I've never seen nothing like that, that in crazy. my life. Uh, that shit was crazy. I never heard nothing like that in my life. Those Those bitches, yeah, yeah, yeah. hoes, <laughs> my Gangsta. nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gin and juice. What the hell is gin and juice? Gin and juice. <laughs> Bloods, Crips. Yeah, man. Forties. Forty crazy. ounces. Yeah. Nigga, I was in a whole world I never knew existed. Yeah, that was that was a crazy time. I wanted to be like Snoop. Reason I started smoking weed was because Snoop. of Snoop. Damn, Snoop. In the G Funk era, wow. the best era of hip hop so? ever to me. The best era. Damn. Dog pound. Snoop, Dr. Dre, Warren G, Nate Dogg. Yeah, like, what about the Bad Boy era? You like the shiny suits? Bad Boy era was fire. All right, that all right. G-Funk era. So if you, could, if you could choose one, Bad Boy. The yeah. G-Funk era. What? Right. The khakis with the crease. The the braids. The we the Cali weed. I respect it. The fun in the sun. The, the hoopies, fun in the sun. <laughs> the hoopies <laughs> that they bouncing. Yeah. Come on. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, I might T-Funk agree. era, the best era, yo. Not to cut you off, but Hot Mac Ten just said he hasn't spoken to Ice Cube in twenty years. Why are these niggas be going through this this shit? How Mac Ten talk to Ice Cube? Somebody got yeah, called somebody. Know. That's West Coast politics. I can't 20 see years? Man. Come on. Cube called Mac 10. I don't be understanding. These are legends. They be beefing for nothing. I don't know. I mean... I don't know where it stemmed from, so I can't they, tell them. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know what to say. All I know... 
I don't count Matt Tan and Ice Cube a part of the G Funk era. So. That was like Westside Connection or something, right? What yeah. Was that? yeah. I'm talking. About, I'm talking about the G Funk era. Yeah, no, yeah. Best era. I don't care what you say. But what was like, we had the Death Row era, like, Bad Death Row era, era, Cash Money, Cash no Money limit. era, No Limit era. What else? We had. We had Miami like. Trick Daddy slip a Like the Cali yeah. era, like the that era, the Cali, Cali era. Well, I don't That's know. Not the yeah. Miami, the Miami wave era. Yeah. The Lena, organized. Yeah, Lena. Had, uh, what, uh, what's called organized noise? What was that? With, uh, Sleepy Brown. Uh, I forget the name of it. But yeah, it's, it's nah, some waves. G Funk was more. It's to my life. I mean, good and was, bad. It ruined. It ruined my life, and it it, it made me love hip hop. Yeah, All that West Coast yeah. shit. I don't know. I like the shiny suits too, though, man. The bad boy. It was raw. It was See, the bad boy era was kind of like. <laughs> what do you it was kind of like the sick. Because, you know, the West Coast was. They was dogging. Yeah. And then the shiny suits came and was like, uh. But, like you had, boy shit. but you had Biggie keeping it raw. He could keep it off to it. But he, he started getting fly too. Got Versace got too. and all that. So. G Funk era. And then you know, Pac. Once Pac came in. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Shout out to Snoop for putting the Death Row music back. The people yeah, that's a good tend look. to forget. That's a great look. Rest in peace, Nate Dog. Rest in peace, Nate Dog. Damn, the G Funk era, yo. Yeah, that's I wish I could go back to that shit. Man. I was a good time. I was like these West Coast niggas, the Gen coolest juice. niggas yeah, 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 I yeah. ever seen. Definitely. Definitely. Kind of ruined my life. <laughs> Kinda. The bitches, the hoes, the weed, the weed, the culture. Yeah, yeah. The impact. But it was a lovely thing. Shout out to He got a bag. He got a big bag for. I think he got a big bag. Yo, Snoop been giving out Snoop been giving out death row chains to everybody too recently too. Like, I seen him. He gave one to uh, what's the little Ed Sheeran? Yeah, Ed, Ed Sheeran. I don't know what's going on. I took a chain. <laughs> another win for the old heads. Always, yeah, yeah. Always. Death row back. Speaking of old heads, they still dragging Sean Carter name. Every, Not even drag. Well, yeah, they dragging every week. They drag it. Shout out to the. We've been shouting out the Art of Dialogue. It's like the third. Yeah, it's a lot we've of promotion. Been showing love. <laughs> I mean, we're going to show love. It's good content. we got to show yeah. love. It's turning into the Art of Jay-Z Dialogue, yeah. though. Recently, a lot of Jay-Z talk. Your man. Melly Mel. Melly Mel. Five elements of hip-hop. <laughs> Melly Mel. He said Jay-Z ain't fucking with Boston Rhymes. Yeah, I saw that. And I don't know why he said that, but he said it. I don't know. I think it was off of music. And performance. Yeah. He was saying the whole... See, the thing with these old head rappers, when they think of battling and... Yeah. They from the time where you got on the stage... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And performed. You, and that's how you battle. Oh, right, right. Yeah, right, right. Now, this all depends on do you think Buster's perform stage show is better than Jay-Z? Absolutely. Jay-Z just... People will say that he just stands... He cool. He laid back. Buster's animated, so yeah. But the thing with Jay Z, his music is so, his words are so powerful that kind of make up for all the theatrics. You would think, but Buster got strong records to go with those theatrics too. So it's like, I would say, huh, Buster or Jay Z. I mean, I would go with Jay Z. Oh, come on, I would go with Jay Z, of course. But as far as just all around, that's a good, that's a good debate because Buster got the stage presence, he got the charisma, he got the music, he got the energy. He got. He was at. Well, so if it's a well, Jay Z show and a Buster yeah. show, so you, how much? How many minutes is it going to take you to figure out which one you want to go to? I never saw Buster. I saw Jay Z perform. So right now, today, I might go see Buster before Jay Z. <laughs> I, I never saw. I never saw Buster before. I saw Jay Z. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Yo. That's a, that's so, a question. So if you bay go, babe, what, babe, I have tickets. <laughs> For Buster, they don't have tickets for Jay Z. I'm gonna go Which with Jay, go go with Jay for the, the ambiance and the, the vibe. But I was just going off of the, 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 the topic we were talking about with Melly Mel. But I can't even agree to that because Mon- like, Melly Mel said Jay Z is only popular because his money talk and he has Beyonce. He took it there. But does he have a point? 
when he got with Beyonce, the status went up. When he got more money, the status of relationships did go up. He's always had money since he got in the game. But yes, when the status status went higher when he got with Beyonce, they did. So yeah, I can agree I, I, with that. I'm one of them Jay Z fans who believes Jay Z was on his way to where he at now, regardless. No, nah. I have no way to prove that. We don't, but I think certain moves and certain relationships made the trajectory go a little bit higher. With, with if anybody, when, when, Meek, when Meek Mills with Nicki Minaj, people say, oh, now he's worldwide, nationwide now because he got with Nicki. Yeah, that helps a lot. Status and relationship status, that helps a lot. Certain moves you make, that helps a lot. Money. He made, he made Beyonce cooler too. And know? vice versa. So you're, you're right. You know that, yeah. right? Yeah. Ladies. They help each other. They help each other. Ladies. <laughs> he made Beyonce. He gave Beyonce that that hip hop bop. Yeah, it did. But like you and said, she dressed him up and made him nice and for, vice the, versa. for them different type of But cameras. like you said, maybe she would have been on her way too. We would never know. Because they already did they together. Right? Both sides can say, we can both argue and say they made each other. Yeah, right? for sure. It's just interesting to see I'm sick of these all old, these old hands. I'm tired of they, it. They, they get a it's chance to put their word in. Jay-Z been kicking their ass 20 plus for years. 30 years. Yeah. And they never got to say nothing. They had no outlets. They didn't have no and outlets. Nobody flat. ever reached back to talk to them. Yeah. Now they finally get to say what they feel. But he been going in on everything. He been saying Drake, them you know? ain't like that. Drake ain't like that. But my thing is, if you wanted the forefathers of hip-hop, Doing this and saying this stuff does nothing. It, make, it makes you look better. You're a forefather of hip hop. You you started this shit practically. You should be honoring Jay Z for holding, continue to hold the torch for what's going on in the game. You this is was like, all right, you he didn't him. diss him. Eh. He didn't he diss him. You kind of. Eh. I looked over the. I watched the footage. All right, so the headlines are really sensationalized, then I guess. He but, just stating his opinion, which is fine. But as again, it's a forefather of hip hop. He a young he Jay Z, come on, man. Jay Z did a lot for the game. And you and, and Melly Melly did too. So you doing this for what, what reason? One thing he said that I totally agree with, he said most rappers don't want to stand up against that Buster catalog. He right. That's why he do that's why that versus is Buster catalog is different. Remember when I had the shows on uh oh, so Radio Station? Station yeah, 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 yeah. I, I did a Buster Rhymes show. Yep. And I was like, yo. This man he got, got it. He got it. Bro, he yeah. got it. It would be a long night if you had to stand across the line. It would be a Buster long Rams. night. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why he was saying Buster versus Missy. They would, they would, maybe that would be something, but I don't yeah, know. That, that, that would, Buster, I think Buster, Buster would get her out yeah, of Buster, here. Buster, <laughs> yeah, Buster would. Buster would get most people out of here. That would be a long night. It would night. take a hold to stand up mm -hmm. to him. Damn. And I mean, if... Hmm. <laughs> I can't say it. I won't. I don't think I'll believe it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Said it. But like I said, Jay Z been smacked. Jay Z been on. Remember when Jay Z was lit? It was no rap. Nobody could get a word in. But it was a different. Melly Mel had to sit back and, and watch, watch it, this yeah. man. It was a different time. It wasn't the social media and this internet how it is now back then. And he know he from the the claw. Hibbity, yeah. hibbity, yeah. hip, hip. And you don't stop. And Jay Z <laughs> took the game and made it crystal platinum. It evolved. He evolved it. He a made lot. He, he made the businessman rap. Yeah, and a lot of it is a lot of these artists or the artists artists. It looks bitter because they didn't make the money that these new art uh, newer artists are making now because they they came into the game they. With nothing, with like bad deals, you know, bad contracts. So it's like they came into the game with nothing, and these young dudes are getting pretty much everything that they feel like they maybe deserve. So it's like a lot of that going on too. So and it's their, it's the chance for the old heads to, to, to speak their mind. No, yeah. What we what we witnessing here, bro? We seeing the new niggas get to say how they feel, and, yeah. and he's. And get these old heads out of here, and yeah. getting the old heads speaking up. I, I, but I, I hate that it's old versus new all the time like this. It shouldn't be like that. But that's the game we in right now. Where it's like it's divided. It's, it's the rap game. 
That's the if all they thing. keep doing it, we'll have more, more content, content every week. <laughs> and we will use it for views. Yeah, we're going to use y'all. And, and clickbait. Every time. Every time. Shout out to Billy Bell. Side note, Spice One also on the dialogue. Yeah. He mentioned that on the West Coast, you don't hear people rhyme through bumping Jay Z. He said he said you will hear more DMX. Oh wow, damn, that's interesting. Back in them times when that's they were oh, back then, okay, yeah, yeah. you would hear more DMX. That's interesting. See, you know what I mean? he said he would rather ride. He was. There's plenty of other people he'd rather ride to than Jay Z. But they probably say the same thing over here about the East Coast about certain so West Coast like, rappers, you know. So it's just wild to see Jay Jay Z. If it's the Jay Z, I know. He he tucking this under he gonna, his he gonna, he gonna under his coat. He gonna have a little punchline or two about what's going on. And it might not it, it might not result in an album or songs, but yeah. it's gonna result in a bar. Or say two. A year or two down the line. See, Jay Z know how to give you one bar that just a clean up Everything. all the yep. bullshit. Yep. And you be like, damn. Yep. Probably Mel gonna be like <laughs> another thirty, that. another thirty, I I gotta suffer. <laughs> <this> yeah. <laughs> Sure. But shout out to the old head. Shout out to yeah. I, I gonna keep shouting, man. Yeah, shout out to y'all for posting that content. Thanks for the content. No, for sure. So it's just I'm I'm ready for the old nigga wars. <laughs> old nigga Let wars. them speak up. Let them speak up. Um what else we got? Creed soundtrack yeah. presented by Dreamville. Yeah, that came out last came Friday. Came out um or two Fridays ago. I dipped into a couple songs. I like the uh Adonis interlude, Cole had. What's the one he the the Dre he was uh J Cole wrote over a Dre beat. It might have been that. One. It might. I think it was that one. That was cool. Then we got a uh, ESTG Cole. I heard that Sean, one. It was that was cool. right. yeah. I remember hearing because I let it play. I didn't really break it down, but right. I let it play. I heard this uh, Ari Lennox drawing that was hard. Yeah. It got some. It got it's some just. On it. it's I'm like, not. I'm not a huge Dreamville right. fan, so I'm not really going to tap uh, in about that. So. I'm going to respectfully say this. like Dreamville, Cole, who is who are Cole, Earth Gang? Earth Gang, Boss is his name? Boss, Bad Boss. Um, yeah. I don't even know. J.I.D. They're one of the, they're the people that, and it's a bunch of people like this for me. I know they're good. I know they make great music. Yeah. They have a fan base. Yeah. Quality music. Right, right, right. But I just don't want to hear it. Are they, I don't want to, I'm not, and I know it's, <laughs> you, you, you hear, you see I'm trying to, trying to hold back. I, I'm trying to be <laughs> careful here. I just don't want to hear a whole, I can't hear a whole bunch of, because I'm are not they, fans of them. Are they boring? Are they not like electrifying enough or personality see, wise? It might be that. Maybe they it could be. be, the problem is in my life, I've been, I've seen a lot of <laughs> filth and negativity and street. So you would think I need I like that in my music. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it had none it's, of that. Their music kind of it's just good, clean, safe, yeah, music, safe music, lyrics, and bars. And I'm not mad at it. I know big Earth Gang fans. Shout yeah. out to my man uh, Cordell. Yeah. He's a big JID fan. I hear him, and it just don't. JID is like it to me a little Am bit. Am I not? You know what I mean? Pure it's enough? Maybe not. Maybe not. That, I don't that could be I don't it. I'm not pure. Either, yeah, it could be that. I have a lot of I like toxic my, I like to me. Toxic I need some toxic in it. A little toxicity. <laughs> but it's, it's a lot of artists that I know are good. I don't listen to. And, and there's so many artists in the world. It's hard to listen to everybody. It's too, like, so. I don't listen to, I haven't listened to Currency in years. But I know he's good. Yeah. I know he gives his fans quality. Larry June. Larry June, I don't right. really listen. To, I can't get into it, but I know he's respected. Speaking of Larry June, I want to tap into this, see how you feel about this. Uh, West Coast artist Kamaya feels like, what did she say? She's felt like she was tired of the comparisons between Larry June and Dom Kennedy. So apparently people have been comparing Larry June and Dom Kennedy as far as styles, not just image or whatever. Do you feel like Larry June was like a carbon copy of Dom Kennedy? How do you feel? I'm not really tapping in Larry. I heard a few songs. Um, so they I wouldn't lay, call him a copy. They have the laid back flow, you know. Are they similar in style? This, I guess they're sim It's the same energy, I think. They give off the same energy in their music. 
I guess. I mean, I like maybe it's the old nigga in me. Yeah. I like Dom over. Who's better? That's the real question. Uh, <laughs> Dom or Larry June, ladies and gentlemen. I was take Dom. ten seconds. Let me try to flash through their all their <laughs> discography. I haven't heard enough Larry June's. So I'm going to say Dom, but I'm not giving an educated. Yeah, it's all for just. I, I'm not giving yeah. an educated. I gotta be honest. I heard somebody made a Larry June playlist yeah. for me. I tapped in. He got some good joints. Yeah, I would say Dom too. But I'm gonna take Dom. Maybe that's the old nigga. In me. Yeah, I'm holding on to the past. I think Dom was a little more. I said smooth. I think his music was smoother, yeah. a little cooler. They both got it's, it's hard. They both got smooth music. It's hard. I don't know. I would. I'd rather just say he just he, he's this time's Dom Kennedy. He's this. 2023 Dom. Since Dom ain't dropping no fucking music, all right. Larry's the new Dom. I Shit. think Larry June is good at he has a he has a lot more that comes with him. Like he has besides his music, he has the whole like the art wave of, the, of, the of being the healthy. Art, the orange juices, you know, he, he riding bikes with his fans. Yeah, yeah. Dom never gave us that. Yeah, he wasn't as personal. He kind of was. He was introverted. He dropped and he fall yeah, back. Yeah. So. That's a fact. You know, and you know Larry June got this. He, I got respect. I, I, I got to show Larry June some a little more respect. And I agree. Let's not even compare. Him. Yeah, you know, Dom was yeah. a. He had his time doing the, the yellow album era. and all that. Yeah. He actually gave us a good album. What was it like a year ago? Recently, it actually hit. It was a year ago, and hit with the album with him too. So, so, salute to them both, but no comparison. I, I don't want to compare. It's just going. I don't want to down talk anybody, yeah, and like yeah. I said, I don't Larry, I don't listen to Larry June. He dropping with Alchemist. He is. See, you know what? <laughs> we gonna break. Maybe that'll be one of the first albums we gonna break it down. Yeah, do I'm gonna Let's give Larry that. June a fair what listen. What is it coming out? Do we know yet? I'm not sure. I'm gonna give him a fair listen out of respect. That's and our homework. He's linking up Let's with Alchemist. It. Let's do it. That's our homework. That's gonna be our breakdown. That's gonna be our first yeah. album breakdown. We gonna break it yeah. down and we gonna see what this nigga Larry June really made of. <laughs> we gonna see and if it's fire, I'm gonna jump on. I'm late, so I'm about to run and catch and jump right, on right, right, the bandwagon. Right. But I'll hey, jump on. I'll do it too. If, if the album is take fire, I would expect I, it to I'm be. I would expect it to be. You gonna see though. I'm with it. I don't know if this your man, but Logic just did a That's not my man. I'm Damn. just saying it's not. I'm, so, not hate, I'm not hating on him. I'm just saying Recently, unretired rap artist Logic just put out a rendition. Retired? He's back now. He retired for like a year. I didn't know that. I didn't either. I heard this. I, I never listened to his music. Me neither. So he just put out a rendition or, a, or whatever of Ice Cube's Today's a New Day. It's like, it's like a Tiny Desk type video. Internet's going crazy. Joe Button said it was whack. Everybody seen it's hard. Yeah, I seen a lot of disrespect. In, in, I didn't like it either. I didn't understand it. It was like, why are you putting this out? What, are you pandering? We, we, we use that word a lot on the show, pandering. I don't know what it was. Are you pandering to the black audience? Are you trying to get more black fan base? It didn't work, but how you feel about this? Well, I logic? watched it, and a lot of thoughts went through my head. The first one was, it's, it was kind of cheesy. Very cheesy. <laughs> then I'm thinking, is he... Is he serious or is he trolling? I can't tell. This would be per for him to troll and do this and no, you know niggas don't really rock with him. Yeah. So he could be saying, let me do this. I know the niggas not gonna like it. Let's get me viral. And it worked. And it worked. Is he maybe dipping his hand? See, I don't know his music, so maybe he is he a singer type? Does he sing on? I don't think so. Or do like live? Maybe he trying to tap into the Rest in peace. Maybe he's trying to take that oh, turn man. that Mac took yeah. to where he get on his. But Mac was more authentic and pure. Logic, see, logic. Now we talk about this off camera. But logic. maybe he tested, he put his feet into. The culture has not embraced logic. Let's just talk about that. They, they're not fucking with logic. Why? Like, I don't know. I think logic. <laughs> he trying to put you in a spot. Why? Say it. I don't know. <laughs> why? I, why? Think, well, I think it's coming off corny. He tests a lot to him being biracial, and he, he he leads into that all the time. That was his claim to fame. I'm biracial. I use the N word. I'm one of y'all. Accept me. He wants to be accepted so bad, and it's like we're not accepting him the way he wants to be. Granted, he sold millions of records. He has 
Plex or whatever. He has a fan base, but I think the general consensus is he's a corny white rapper that wants he's, to be down. Wait a minute. Biracial rapper that wants to be down with the culture and nobody's accepting him the way he wants to be. Nobody really gives him respect as like a lyricist, a real rap pure artist. I don't know. It's like he just around. He's a nigga. He, he around. That's all he is. So I don't know. I, I've never heard a project. I've, I've never heard a project. I've never heard. I'm trying to think. I don't care if they hear his projects either. I don't know. Should we, should, we listen, should we give him a chance? I might. All right, so maybe we should give him a chance. I don't know. I've heard a few songs, but I can't. I don't know. It's sad. All I really have to go off is what I just seen with this with this remake. I don't I don't know if he's a lyricist or what. I've heard some corny shit. This is not his first corny uh, song either. So. I like again. I'm gonna tell you what I, like I feel. I'm gonna to... tell you what I feel in my heart. You gotta know people sinister behind. Just like we sinister behind the scenes, we try to make this shit go. So you thought this was like a marketing ploy, maybe possibly? I think he said, you know what? Oh. These niggas already don't fuck with me. Let me drop this out here and see what it does. I'm gonna do a remake. That shit works. Uh, one of the true. songs that nigga, these that, that song could be niggas national the anthem. anthem. Literally, <laughs> is this that if you ain't what we do? <laughs> so he said, "Let me do a re, let me do a rendition of this." That shit was so corny though. And look what happened. Was it? Is it worth up. it? I mean, we talking about it, so maybe it was. This is worth, bro. It's content, it's views. So yes, the hate is the same as the love. The hate is the same as the love. Logic, you got us. He got us. And, and I, I never listened to nothing he ever dropped. So and we just gave him time so on, our, on our sixth show ever. We just gave him time. So I've heard, he heard his music. You haven't. So are you even qualified to even speak about him? I'm just speaking off the, oh, the, the, the clip. Oh, okay. But I've seen the, the hate, the hate yeah, yeah, and the yeah. backlash. It's a lot. I put him kind of in the same box as um, Russ. But Russ, he, he scared out of that shit quick. He, he not the corner. See, what Russ was... Russ was corny on the internet for like his Twitter rant antics and stuff. So his his personality, people didn't even hear his music to know if he was corny or not. We had to give him a chance. He can really rap. He I'm got, just yeah. I mean, so I don't like, know, but I just seen I put him in that same box as they get a lot of yeah. Like yeah. niggas not really trying. We saying niggas a lot. I hope you all right. Yeah, but is Russ better? Is he better than Russ? No, Russ, could, Russ is he's really good. Bar for bar. Yeah. Russ is I better. don't know either. I, I'm not serious. Say I'm, I'm you know what I'm going to do? You do a playlist? I'm going to listen to Logic, yo. Let's do it. I'm going to listen to whatever. I'm going to ask no, the people. No, tell us what's his best project or I'm best ask song. The time line. Yeah, let's do that and we'll double back I'm going to ask week. the timeline what's Logic's best project. We both will do that and listen to it. It's and I'm going to listen to it. I'm going to give it a real listen. Let's do it. With the, I'm going to light up. <laughs> But you go, your and heart. You gonna to you use your, your heart on rolled up weed yep. on a logic project. And if it's fire, I'm gonna get on this camera and I'm gonna oh, say, boy. ease up, niggas. Slow down. Ease, up <laughs> niggas. On, ease up on logic. <laughs> on my Joe, why, why Joe Biden is so tough on him? Yo, the past few years he's been going real hard on logic. I wonder I don't why. Know. I, don't, I don't know the backstory. I don't about either. That. You don't it, like him. See when you, I'm gonna go there. You gotta Let me go get there. the crew for you. Well, episode six is back. Let me put the crew for you. When you mix and look white, you gonna have to be fire. Yeah, you have to. Because it's gonna be... And he, he kind of look... He looks white. With a dirty this white is no kid. Disres- uh, see, I was going But that's what it is. He's kind of... I want to say nerdy, but I want to... I, I need more... Like, he looks kind of dweebish. And I heard, that's worse than nerdy, actually, but okay. <laughs> yeah, but I wanted to give more... Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks dweebish. Right. And he's mixed. So that's... You know, today's era, niggas is on your heels. But Drake is, see, but Drake is also mixed, but he doesn't look, he did initially, he, initially he looked corny and dewey bitch, but he came into his I was about to say, he know, he, he figured out how he to, figured out, I don't know how he did that shit. How to there. dig into his, his, the soul, because it's in him. I don't know how he did it. If you mix, it's, it's in you, you just got to dig. Yeah. Drake figured deep. out how to dig deep and get he that out. He did it. Logic. Maybe Logic got to do that. Maybe you don't want to. That might be what the problem is. But if, if, if you're always leading with your biracial and how, how the struggle you had, he, he says, care he, enough. He says nigga in his raps? Absolutely. 
Listen to the album. See, you gotta listen to it. I'm gonna listen. And I'm gonna give him my. And if you fire, I'm gonna give him music. We both gonna come back here next week and tell y'all. But that ice, if you were serious with that ice cube thing, I think he was dead serious. It was kind of whack. But if you was trolling, I'm giving that A plus trolling. A plus for trolling effort. <laughs> you know what I mean? But we had people seeing a, a, a lot of Mac Miller fans scared. And you're like, you better not be trying to turn into, into that way. Uh, let's keep an eye on for that. So, before we go off of that topic, rest in peace, Mac Miller. Why do you feel like the culture embraced Mac Miller? What was what was different about him? Was it because he was like authentic? Was it the raps? Because he never got like uh-huh. never got hate. I, I'm trying to dip back into that time. He got early the blog. See, he era. was in that blog era. The early coast it was organic. Yeah, he was attached to that whole Wiz Khalifa thing. That was the thing. Yeah. So that was so the main so. Thing. The niggas was rocking with him yeah. off the strength of that. That's true. Yeah, you're right. Then we kind of found out, oh, he fought, he fired alone. By himself. He don't need to be attached. Yeah. So he slowly just came to his own. He never yeah. did no weird stuff. Yeah. He respected the culture. Yeah, he did. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, he has issues. Everybody can relate to having issues. Yeah. But he kept it authentic and pure for sure. He was authentic. Everybody fucked with him. Even Jay Z tweeted about when he he tweeted like it was a tweet like he was saying, "Oh, and Mac Miller was nice too." Like even Jay Z respected him, so it was like so you know he uh, he kind of paid his. If he was in that blog era, yeah, people got to watch artists grow. Yeah, you know what I mean? Nah, right on Smash. Too. They didn't have to be on Instagram shitting on us. No, not at all. And showing money. Yeah. It was just the music. They did, for sure. You know what I mean? It was all about the music and the visuals. So we, we got a chance to, to fall in love yeah. with, with... It wasn't the extra shit. We with with Mac Miller, so... Yeah. Shout out to Mac, R.P. Mac Miller. But I'm going to give Logic, Logic a listen. Logic, Logic you on the clock, buddy. Yeah, you on the clock. And I'm going to give you a real listen, yo. A real... with Because the, the, I don't want to hate on you. I, I don't want to hate on him, yo. Because he get a lot... But like you said, the same thing how when Russ first came in the game, was the hate... Was it warranted? Maybe because off of Russ' personality, he was doing too much. Well, I think the thing with Russ, he was always trying to speak out against different type of waves that was going on. And yeah. Russ was bitter about the blogs not posting them back then, too. He would always dislike the certain blogs for not posting. Oh, yeah, 2013, I sent on Smash a song. They didn't post me, so fuck y'all. He was on that wave and other shit, other issues. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Shout to Logic. Shout to Logic. You on the clock? Yeah, you on the clock. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, do you want to touch Stack of Star? Shout out to Stack of Star. So, Philly Home based. Home of the. You can explain this. So, this, 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 <laughs> so this Philly based beautiful. independent uh, rap label Stack of Star. He signed a, a, a joint venture with Def Jam. If you know Stack of Star, they got the. Home of the. The D Stir. <laughs> The shake oh, that, this, right yeah, here. That's, that's what it is. D sturdy. They got the shake that. So that's their first official artist. They got other artists too. And this is with Def Jam. They got to deal with Def Jam. Their CEO Buna. He was in the in a, in, a, in, a, in a NFL. So shout to Stack and Star. That's a major look. You know, for what the kids. Think? This is about to be a takeover. Is this about yeah. to be a TikTok? It's a, it started already. I know it started already, already yeah. but is it about to be? You got the machine behind you. A whole marketing. So machine. we about to get a whole label. Is this the first label of all? Is it going to be all TikTok no, energy? No, see, they got other artists too, not just uh, dance. They got Saudi Four. They got Young K. They got D Sturdy, which is more like the dancing wave. So it's going to be a whole different gumbo pot. So do you think artists. they have the power to to make a stamp like other crews of yeah, Philly? This is the, the first. Five, this is the, the first major figure of this generation. It might not be the impact of just like the streets wise, like state property, but. This is a big deal for an independent label to be with a major record label. So, with marketing dollars behind you. So Shout yeah. out to D Sturdy in a in a Philly Ghost. He actually, I saw him. He pulled up to a a Czech Rock game out here. Oh, he did. That's what's up. Had the, the shape. Uh, the, the, the I white, saw the, the shape up line. from. I was upstairs <laughs> and I seen this nigga shape up shine. How you feel about that white line shape up? That's a, that's the kids. That's young. I'm not speaking on young niggas. White that like. Actually, Yo. I'm jealous. I wish, <laughs> I wish I could have a disturb. Yo, my I man. I wish I could have a disturb. Shout out to Chase the Cash. She said, "Wipe that shit off after you be the barber shop, man." But they doing it on purpose. Nah, that's me. They got, they got a whole. Yo, Z- uh, shout out to um, Too Rare. He got a whole pencil merchandise line. He sells these pencils. 
The white chalk. Can we, get, chalk. can we get one episode? Can we get Legend to do an episode oh, with the D Sturdy? Let's do it. Let's do chalk. it. Let's do it. I'm Link doing. up with my man that got the John, the pen, <laughs> and get. We need. I to, gotta do it for the coach. We need to see you do a whole episode do it. with the D Sturdy. With the hat off, I'm gonna do it with the D Sturdy. Now shout out to shout out to Stagger Star. Shout look, out to though. Philly. Yeah, we trying. Philly music. It's a lot going on. The TikTokers. I gotta hear the other ones that you said. Yeah, Saudi for he's Are they drill? Yeah, nah, Saudi might be. Young K isn't, but Saudi a little Philly drill. But you might like it. You might like Sound it. Sound of Philly. That's Thank a good look. look. That's a good song. Uh, that's that's a good look. Yeah, I sure. hope it's not uh raping you records Me deal. I, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. You know, so Shout out to Philly. Speaking of Philly, I guess before we get out of here. Hitman versus Easy dropped on YouTube. It dropped, yep. If I'm not wrong, you went for Hitman. I went hard for Hitman. Over your Philly. I don't know what I was thinking about. Pierre. Easy, 3 0, in my opinion. You say. I'm not mad at that. I say Easy 2 1. Yeah. He got this, I say he got the second and the third. Hitman's first round was incredible, so I gave that to him. But I'm not mad if people say Easy 1. I don't know, man. Hitman, Hitman started making excuses already, saying they booed him and all oh, the crowd was against me and all this. So I think Easy got it. Fair and square. I'm telling you now, Easy the Block Captain is the new king of battle rap. He is. His stock went He's up. He's about to take it to another level. Remy Ma, his manager now. <laughs> For all bookings. <laughs> For all bookings hit up Remy Ma. They're about to take over. This is about to be the year Easy the Block Captain. Easy with gun titles too, right? He's with gun title, oh, free to surf. Yeah. Shout out to Tay Rock. Yeah, Lady Caution. They got a lot going on over there. So we got, I think Easy got the crown as far as battle rap. Goes. Yo, so apparently it might be Easy versus Mook at some point. Mook was on the Joe Budden podcast with Easy talking about that. I'm not mad at that. I got Easy 2 1. I got Easy for sure on that one. Mook. I got Easy 2 1. Oh my. Oh, I got that. That's Grizz! Come on, Raw Steam, come on. You playing games, man. Cause I got I got Briz over Briz. easy. Wait. I got Briz over easy. Come I'm on, Briz. You talking about Briz and, no, and Easy. That'll be a good battle. That'd be a good battle. Briz. I can't call that one yet. I don't know. Briz, we need you right now. You call me. If you don't step up and stop easy right now, he's gonna be out of here. <laughs> he easy here. might take over for yeah. the next couple of years. He got it right now. Somebody gotta put an end to this, and I think Briz Rothstein. Is the one that can do it. We gonna see. So if you're watching this, Briz, do it, yo. You gotta hop back in the game. Come on, guys. we got we we can make it happen. How much you want? Your hundred k? Damn. We we can we can hit Remy. I know you get a contract. That's <laughs> just about negotiations. Get, we can get you that hundred. Let's you know? do it. Let's figure this out. Easy versus Briz in Philly. That'd be cool. That'd be Chrome amazing. Chrome three. We got that universe. Remy, call us. Let's set it up. TLA. Set it up. Come Easy on. versus Briz. Let's um, do it. That's all. I, that's all we got. That's all I got in my files. Episode six. So man. next episode, we are gonna give the logic. Break, logic breakdown. Break down. I might come with the chalk next episode. I'll let y'all know. Um, we'll see. We'll see. If we can. I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get into another argument on the time. I don't know. So hopefully, that, we gave him something. That Larry Jack and Larry Junior Dow might do it. So we are gonna see. There's a few. You know. Um. Shout out. So yeah, we got our eyes on Junior Alchemist. We got our eyes on Logic. Oh, and Rome Streets and Dilla got a project coming out soon. Rome Streets and Dilla? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, was it Rome Streets and Dilla? No, you thinking. Who of, the guy got. Who you're thinking of. Uh, who was in the accident? Not Rome Streets. Uh, how am I not, thinking? Not Rome Streets. I know exactly uh, what you're talking about. I put it in the chat. Griselda, Detroit, Bowie, James, and Dilla. Shout out to Triple S Productions. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> yeah. Holding us down. Boldy and Dilla. Isn't it tough? It, for, so for like four years, apparently. Three years. We, we ain't on it. We're not on it. Heal up. Yeah, get, get well soon. But that's going to be crazy. Well, um, that's all I got. We back. Episode six. We back with another classic, as usual. Another classic. Every time. Um, shout out to all the watchers. Like, and comment, tweeters. subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. Follow us Instagram and um, Twitter for sure. Nerdnash.com. Nerdnash.com. Triple S Productions. Triple S Productions Always. holding us down, making us look as good as we can. We be. Yeah. We'll see y'all next week. Cheers, sure. man. I already know. Breakfast bars.